Well, well, well. Assalamu alaikum, peeps. Good morning. Good morning. As you see my body language, it is not too inspiring and motivating, is it? My beloved New York Knicks just could not get it done. By the hair and they chinny chin chin, man, to the Charlotte Hornets. And I just wake up in a very contiguous mood when my boys just don't win, man. It just. Oh, God. But let's get into this NBA night last night, man. This hurt my man feelings, you feel me? God, oh, boy. This, this gotta be better than this. It's got to be better than this. Got to be. But we're going to start off with the Hornets and the Knicks. Hornets edge Knicks on Graham's ninth three-pointer. Devontae Graham made his ninth three-pointer of the game with 2.8 seconds remaining, finishing with 29 points to lead the new the Charlotte Hornets over my... He loved New York Knicks, man. This is, this is, uh, frustrating, frustrating. But like the video, y'all. Share, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I drop any type of content, man. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm, I'm in a blues state of mind, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked up right about now. Next in the Bulls. I had to have my German cough off this. And the Nets come away with this from 117 to 111. Spencer Dinwiddie scored 24 points, and the Brooklyn Nets beat the Chicago Bulls 117 to 111 on, on Saturday night without all star Kyrie Irving. Ooh, Kyrie Irving didn't play last night. Oh, uh, that's what's up. Bucks and the Pacers. And it looks like Yonta to Honest uh, to Coupo. They came away with the victory, 102 to 83. Giannis had 26 points, 13 boards, and 66 Saturday night. And the Milwaukee Bucks forced the Indiana Pacers in the worst shooting performance of the season of a 102 to 83 route. Wow, at least somebody else feeling that thunder like I'm feeling it. Goodness gracious, man. It sucks losing. It sucks. And we have the Rockets. They went over the Timberwolves, 125 to 105. James Harden scored 49 points on a whopping 41 shots. God damn. This motherfucker took 41 shots? From the field and the undermanned Houston Rockets team won for their seventh game in a row. And they beat them 125 to 105. The high man for uh, Minnesota was once again Carl Anthony Towns. I believe he's going to be wanting to get up out of there pretty soon because he got too much talent. He just need to go to a better team. He and the Pelicans, Jimmy Butler and company. And the Pelicans fall to the Miami Heat, 109-94. to Kendrick Nunn scored 22 points, and the Miami Heat remain unbeaten at home with an 109-94 to victory over the undermanned New Orleans Pelicans on Saturday night. Y'all go, boys. Y'all do that damn thing. Do it. Raptors and the Mavericks. And it seemed like Christophe Porzingis and the Mavericks come away with this with 110 to 102. Luka Doncic had 26 points and 15 rebounds, and the Dallas Mavericks beat the Toronto Raptors on Saturday night. They beat the world champions. Portland Trail Blazers and the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs fall with Duncan coaching after Poppy got ejected. Tim Duncan coach. Word. C.J. McCullough scored 32 points in the trail, Portland Trail Blazers beat the San Antonio Spurs 121-116 on Saturday night to spoil Tim Duncan's first shot at coaching follows, following his Greg Popovich ejection. <laughs> I wonder when they're going to uh, imp implement Melo into this uh, lineup because that's going to be a difference maker. And everybody giving it to the Lakers. Don't give it to the Lakers now. It's going to be a lot of teams with competition out there. I am telling you, like this video, share, and subscribe, y'all. I'm telling you, when Melo get to jail in Portland, it's going to be a whole different ball game. But right now, I'm so goddamn pissed off at my Knicks, man. They just ain't got no fucking identity, man. I mean, the fuck? Excuse me for my passion, y'all. 
And the last game of the night was the Hawks versus the Clippers. And the Hawks got that ass spanked by 49 points, 150 to 101. Paul George came in his debut, scored 37 points, and his Clippers whooped the shit out of the, 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 the Atlanta Hawks. Lou Williams added 25, and he gave them that sizzling too. And Los Angeles led all the way around the Atlanta Hawks, 150. And they beat them by that football team, 49. Whoo, boy. I'm just so frustrated as a Knicks fan. I, You know, I'm just so used to seeing man-to-man defense and switching off and cutting to the basket, swinging a ball. I mean, we're not getting none of that shit now, man. They lose, they barely. And you know what's holding me on? They barely lose in some games. Some games they get blowed out. That's when I go hard on them. But the games they barely lose, man, it's just like, oh, the record could be so much different. You know, and I don't want to go on this Nick rant, man, but damn, man, fuck. And why Kevin Knox is not starting, man? Knox needs to be starting. But anyway, this is your boy, Musa Azakar. Like the video, share, and subscribe. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. To all my Knicks fans, please holler at me. Am I, am I, am I acting too emotional? Talk to me.